POC Network here, and we have a little bit of a special for you today in regards to stream TV networks. So, I'll start off by saying that in recent years, we have seen a number of companies attempt to deliver a true glasses-free 3D solution at trade shows such as CES. We frequent these shows a lot with our camera teams, and we learn about some really neat products coming out. 3D, uh, glasses-free 3D screens have been one of them for about three years now. They, they spawn from multiple countries to various approaches to delivering such technology. Some come close, yet others led to eye strain. But then there were stream TV networks. We got our first glimpse of their new Ultra-D glasses-free TV this year at CES at their press conference last week. Immediately, we were impressed with what we saw. It truly appeared as though we actually were wearing the glasses the entire time. Minimal to no eye strain, just as you would with n glasses, you know, most glasses. Some not so much. But in this case, no eye strain or minimal eye strain. Depends, you know, it's kind of user preference. Uh, most of us reported not experiencing any eye strain, but there's a few. Maybe it's a placebo effect. Maybe it's just, you know, the 3D technology we have today. But this is exactly what you're looking at with today's higher end projectors and TVs with the current and, and you know, IMAX and, and theater, the current glasses uh, technology that we have. So now consider that with glasses free technology. The end of quality was great. And it caused us to say to ourselves, there it is. This is going to be cool. While we were there, we got to meet with Stream TV Network's VP of Business Development, Bud Robertson, about where they plan to go from here. Unfortunately, due to equipment failure, we lost some of that interview. But we will bring you a little short bit about it in terms of the wide world of gaming, just shortly. But basically, to give you a brief intro into things, Bud explained that their technology features a 100 and, that's 100, and 40 degree 3D view that can be applied to various situations, such as TV in the home for movies and games, uh, screens on the back of uh, seats in cars or airplanes, screens used for marketing in stores, slot machines in casinos perhaps, PCs, tablets, phones, and so forth. You get the idea. Just like any other screen format, the options are endless. For example, the screens that they were demonstrating this year, they did not have uh, touch technology, um, or they weren't touch enabled. They didn't have that integrated into it. But the technology can be applied to it just like any other screen format or technology. And the video playing here, right behind me, they were demonstrating specifically a 10 inch screen to show how the technology can be applied to such smaller footprint situations, such as the back of a car or a tablet or airplane and so forth. The three effect was just as detailed as it would be on a larger screen. Speaking of that, let's do a little time travel or reminiscence of uh, what happened at CES last week. And let's talk to Bud about gaming. So now we are standing in front of this awesome TV display here, demonstrating the use of their 3D technology here at Stream TV Networks with video games. What are we looking at here? It's a PC game. It is a PC game. So you've got the same uh, system as far as the optics go, giving you a 3D without glasses view. Uh, the challenge that we had is uh, on the content side, being able to build the ecosystem. And we've known for uh, from the very beginning that video games would be an important part of that. Mm -hmm. So the, the key is to, you've got a video game engine that's creating a 3D environment already, but that information generally doesn't reach a screen. It's just used to wrap uh, you know, textures around objects to give you a cool look in 2D play. And if you want to do 3D with glasses, now you've got to generate left and right eye views, and that's two passes through the computer. That affects the performance. And a lot of the game developers just didn't want to do that. When we said, hey, our format is 2D plus depth, you only have to create the single view you're already doing, and we're going to take that depth information you're already using, but we're going to siphon it off on the side and, and use it for this. They said, wow. That's really going to literally bring a new dimension to gaming, and that's going to really open things up. Absolutely. No extra, no, no overtaxing the processor nope. or the video card or anything. The data is already there. Absolutely. That's perfect. And what about uh, any kind of future opportunities with consoles? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Our plan for 2016 is to have integration in all the major, major consoles. You're looking at PC gaming right here. The, the big news for us at this show is that we announced that we've got the Unity plug-in and support from Unity directly. Last year we had support for Unreal Engine, so now that's covering uh, the lion's share of the main uh, game developer engines that are in use today. 
and uh, we've got some AAA games coming out, hopefully before the end of the year, so you're going to see some things uh, with native Ultra D built in. Perfect. And we play some Call of Duty uh, eventually sometime in the future. Uh, nice 3D, no glasses. This is nice. I'd have to go with a bigger screen now. Yeah. I like big screens, well, 80 inches. You, you got a 50 here. We got 65 already uh, in production coming to market. So. Perfect. Well then, there you have it. Again, this is Bud. This is Stream TV Networks, and this is their wonderful 3D technology. Thank you so much, Bud. Ultra D. Look for it. Ultra D. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest, and or at least the gadgets we cover, remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.